That man bun, though. The ultimate pre-workout meal of the Florida gods, bras. A whole Publix sub. A pub sub. The best sub in Florida, hands down. Got the ultimate and um, got everything on it in the garden section, which is a decent amount of vegetables. Um, cucumbers, spinach, lettuce, regular lettuce. Uh, yellow peppers, onions, tomatoes, the whole nine yards. And then I got a bag of salt and vinegar chips to go with that. And um, Diet Coke, unfortunately for all you hippies, this probably has aspartame in it since it's not the new Pepsi. Aspartame free drink, but you know what? I don't really care. Um, yeah, so I'm going to eat this, play some Halo, let the food digest, and um, I'll see you guys at the gym. What's up everyone, it's Devin here with Beast Aesthetics. I'm going to get right into this voiceover. I got a lot of great clips for you guys from this week's training. Pretty much just all my top compound work sets on bench, squat, and deadlift. And before I get that out of the way, I want to wish all you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. Just in case if I don't make a video before New Year's, which I probably will. But just in case, Happy New Year's and Merry Christmas to all all my subscribers and fans and um yeah because i am making this video at 1 a.m on christmas so <laughs> pretty tired a long day had a good day with the family for christmas eve um didn't really track my macros too accurately today but i'm pretty sure i didn't go over my calories for the day um yeah so that's that and here you guys are seeing my um top work sets high bar squats with 315 pounds for sets of 10 reps ended up doing three sets of 10 reps which is the exact same weight i used last week for the exact um, same amount of reps and sets just at a lighter body weight um, about two pounds lighter weighing around 208.5 pounds morning weight now and you know i'm really surprised actually that my strength is holding up this well i had thought back three months ago when i first started dieting that my strength was going to drop actually pretty quickly because that's what normally happened on any of my cuts I've done but I think doing the cut much slower like I have been doing has been holding my strength if not even gaining strength it seems like um, over the past three months so I'm going to hopefully cross my fingers and hope for the best um, at the start of New Year's for 2016 to keep my strength as best as I can now I know eventually I will get weaker guys there's no way around that once I get into the um, single digit body fat range your strength just starts dropping quick especially when you get down to like five six percent body fat your strength just goes down to the gutter real quick it's 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 kind of depressing but you gotta sacrifice power for the shreds and I'm willing to do that so and I'm <laughs> to be honest guys I'm not really gonna be super shredded until probably um, late April or May depending on how my cut goes but so everything's the same goals are the same i want to compete next year in classic physique i've been getting a lot of questions do you still want to compete in classic physique are you going to still cut or are you going to take a break from cutting i'm still cutting i am not going to stop cutting um the goal is six pounds a month and um yeah pretty much just trying to maintain my strength and all my compound lifts to maintain muscle mass as well um, which is the best indicator of maintaining uh, muscle, in my opinion, while dieting is keeping your strength. If, you, if your strength plummets quickly, you need to change something immediately because that is a huge sign of muscle loss. If your strength even drops slowly, but your weight drops slowly, that's a great indicator that you're preserving a lot of muscle on your cut. So that was my last set of 10 right there with 315. Then I went into doing the same work sets and reps and weight with front squats as I did the last week, 225 for two sets of 10 reps. And pretty much that was the main majority of my leg day. After that, I just did some leg extensions, some calves. Didn't bother recording it just because I knew I was gonna make a full video on my compound lifts for this episode, just so you guys can see how my strength's been holding up. And then after this, you guys will be seeing me doing some bench press. I uh, think I did 275 for three sets of eight today which felt amazing. It actually felt probably the easiest workout I've had with 275 for a 3x8 um, to this date. So once again, I am shocked that I'm holding this much power, especially on bench, because usually bench, 
is one of the first lifts that drops. And then I would say squat. And then deadlift usually kind of hangs on there depending on if you train it or not. If you actually keep training deadlifts, I have heard of people getting slightly stronger on them um, while cutting as well, which actually kind of happened with me as well this week. Um, as far as a rep PR, I ended up hitting uh, 470 for a set of eight. And that was after doing uh, two sets of six with 470. So very, very happy all around with how I've been going with my training and my diet for the past three months. But um, come January 1st, I'm going to step my game up. I know I'm going to have to do more cardio. And I know I'm going to have to restrict my calories even more to lose six pounds a month you know, to keep doing that. So my macros starting January 1st, 2016 will probably be 80 fat. 350 carbs and 250 protein, which I think is right around 3,200 calories. I'm not exactly sure on that, but you guys can do the math. It's, it's not that hard. <laughs> and, um, yeah, guys, so that's it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video. As always, bros, I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on the episode, the return, the next episode. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> the next episode of the return of aesthetics, all right? As always, peace out, bye. Welcome to Stupid Shit 101 with Dom, 405 squat. Oh god, no, I, I didn't get behind that. Focus. There you go.